Hi guys! Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I'm Ashley Rose and this week we are changing things up a little bit. I did this over the holidays where I did, you know, weekly tarot readings where I read for the whole week and you know, I'm going to start bringing that back. I'm going to change things up and just play around a little bit more with my channel. So if you love the dailies, this is, you know, you're still going to get your content, your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, a little bit more in depth. You can go look at my Instagram. That's where I'll have like the card. And so you're not going to see the, the daily post. It's just going to be one whole video um, at the beginning of the week for you to watch. And then if you look in the description, I'll have timestamps for each day. Um, so we're just going to pull seven cards and kind of just see how overall this week is going to interact with each other or even just, you know, with us. It's um, kind of an exciting week. We have an eclipse on Saturday. Yes, May, May, bleh, sorry, April 30th. I'm getting my words together here. My brain's moving a million miles um, on the 30th, which is like we're in eclipse season right now, but I don't feel like this eclipse season is going to be something like detrimental to us. I feel like it's really going to put us on the right direction and really our lives will never be the same, kind of. We're well, not kind of, but really after this eclipse season and in a lot of good ways, but I feel like it's really coming to instill, you know, more balance and grace and just really gives us the opportunity to find what is causing all of this imbalance in our life so that we can kind of bring it to fruition, kind of calm it, kind of calm things out, right? It's going to be in Taurus. We're in Taurus season. Um, and this Taurus season is going to be, you know, a little challenging. We got a Mercury retrograde coming up in Gemini, but um, there'll be more to um, learn on that coming up. I'll have a video for the Mercury retrograde. So well, I'm going to pull seven cards for each day of the week. Hold on. Everything's flying out right now. Okay, dokie. We got Wednesday, we got two extra. So for Monday right now, we have the Page of Swords. Tuesday, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Wednesday, we have Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands. Thursday, we're looking at King of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Oh, we're getting a lot of doubles here. Friday, we got Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Saturday, I love that nine of one, nine of swords in reverse, and then Sunday, what are we leaving it on? Oh, the moon, yeah. Okay, Heidi wants to come say hi. Now let's get into it. All right, so Monday we start off with the page of swords, and I really, honestly, love this because I feel like it is kind of this messenger coming in to kind of give us some insight on everything that's going to be kind of. I want to say unraveling, but I got a reading this past weekend and, you know, she described it as not necessarily raveling, unraveling, but spiraling up, right? We're coming back to some of these cycles and we're coming back to some of these patterns and behaviors, not because we're going in the wrong direction, but because now we have the opportunity to make a different decision and with a broader perspective, look at things again, communicate what we've learned and what how we're going to implement this new understanding rising up right so i feel like that's what this page of swords is coming to do he's the messenger of the court and they're here to you know learn as much as we can expand our minds as much as we can and bring it all back to the king and queen right so pay attention to what you're learning today we could be learning how to communicate we could be learning how to use our voice we could be learning how to really express ourselves in a new way and allow ourselves to express ourselves freely um and so i really in love this because that's kind of where everything's pointing that's the direction where we're going is this freedom this you know this expression of who we are authentically this settling things down kind of balancing when i think of taurus season i always think of the empress and the empress is about creating a life you love out of love to kind of share with those you love right sitting in your abundance appreciating what you have around you and so we are also going to be communicating these things to ourselves today with this page of swords and also pay attention to who comes in today to 
give us some message, to bring us some clarity, to give us a gift. So because we're being willing to open and we're being willing to receive and we're being willing to give the knowledge that we have and express who we are, we are also in the same bit again, right, to give. To receive, we have to give. And so it's this cycle, right, that I hope, I hope you're getting what I'm picking up what I'm putting down because I um, got a little stumble on my words there. But I digress. Um, he's here standing his sword. It's up, pointed up. So you can, again, trust that the messages that you're receiving today are coming from source, are coming from your higher self, are coming from your guides, are coming from spirit. They're coming from a place where you can trust because we're learning how to build this trust within ourselves and within our intuition because it's going to be playing a very big part for us this year and especially through this eclipse season. So I love where this Monday is really leaving us. The page is one numerology. So we're talking about new beginnings, authenticity, um, trusting your inner power within and creating from that source. It's the magician. It's literally being able to pick up the things that you want to in your life and create something beautiful. Again, like, you know, it's just like the empress, right? Creating the life that you love, creating life that you see for yourself. And today we're going to be able to communicate that a lot more freely. So I love this for Monday. All right. Now let's go on to Tuesday. Tuesday, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Love her. Come on. Because it's like this insight, these ideas that we got yesterday from the Page of Swords are kind of what is this compass that's turning, this karma that's coming around, these debts that are being paid, our finances that we're kind of seeing come back around where everything is starting to work together and we're really starting to understand why certain things happened, why these changes had to be made, and why we're being pointed in this direction instead of where we were going before. It wasn't that we were doing anything wrong. We had to move there so we could learn things, so we could grow, so we could heal, and now we're being pulled here. Does that make sense? Because um, the Wheel of Fortune is about karma coming around. And again, just like how we had the Page of Swords yesterday, we see the Sphinx here holding the sword. And again, that's this indication that we can trust where we're getting our ideas. They're not, it's not our brain playing tricks. It's not over analysis paralysis. We're not getting, you know, getting stuck in these cycles that we used to get in. So it's okay to trust ourselves right now. The message is definitely trust yourself and lean into that intuition. Lean into your gut. Lean into those feelings that we might have been a little too, you know, scared to interact with or scared to really like, yeah, this is what's happening and I really want to go after this, right? Like that kind of energy. The Wheel of Fortune is crossroads and that's definitely exactly what's going on right now and also the wheel of fortune is a signal that we're not at we're not at the end of this journey we're in the middle of it right we're in the middle of this healing process we're in the middle of transforming we're in the middle of learning how to communicate learning how to you know use our strengths learning how to let our authenticity come out we are at this point where we're making this decision of like, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to push myself out of my comfort zone and I'm going to make new choices. I'm going to make new decisions. I'm going to align myself with what I want to do and move away from these patterns that aren't moving me forward like how I wanted to see myself move forward, right? Um, and kind of just getting away from, I think, that mentality too, that just because something isn't working doesn't mean that you're failing. It just means that you're still in the learning process and you're figuring out what it's going to take to help you succeed, right? And that's the direction that we're moving in. We had that Five of Cups in reverse and that Five of Pentacles in reverse last week, and that was just an indication that we're becoming more emotionally stable. We're becoming more secure in ourselves. We're becoming more you know, financially stable and learning about our finances in another way, right? Like you have all three, or not all three, all four signs here indicating this learning process that you're in. So be present in it, you know, find joy in that. In um, Because I always like to say like, past you would be so excited to be where you are now. So be present with where you are now and explore what that space is. Because sometimes we can get really caught up on getting to the end of the journey and there's so much like gold in the present moment of it, right? And when we keep ourselves sometimes kind of like focused and controlled in one area, we forget that there's all of these things like on the outside that could be really adding to the experience that we're having. And I feel like that's what the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, coming here to tell us, you know, you're on the right path. You are doing everything that you need to be doing. It's just time to push ourselves out of our comfort zone a little bit and learn a little bit more, dive a little bit deeper and express yourself a little bit 
weirder, I want to say. Um, but you're going exactly where you need to go and you're exactly where you need to be right now. So trust it because timing and karma is on your side. All right. And uh, Wheel of Fortune being one again. So this magician, this new beginning, this authenticity we're stepping into, it's all playing a part. And I've been saying this for the past couple weeks, pay attention to 111 because that is our indication that we are on the right thing. We're moving and grooving together, that this new beginning is happening. And, you know, and to just come back in and trust our intuition because it's really taking us to the right place. And if for, to take any energy that kind of wants to control us and sway us and, you know, have to be following this certain plan um that is it i want to say like that is just a distraction and even today we could be feeling that like we want to follow this plan but we might be you know we feel this draw to go do something else right like maybe we have a list of things that we need to get done today but we feel kind of like a draw to go play and like our inner child wants to come out follow that intuitive hit in you to like go play and let this inner child come out because there's going to be something that comes up while you're doing that, that's gonna help this list that you have to take care of run a lot smoother, okay? So that's Tuesday, super excited about that. Um, and then Wednesday we have the Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands. Like, oh, I love that because you took the time to learn to be present in your healing process, to make new decisions and trust your intuition. We're being gifted this like wonderful, I feel like plethora of emotion. And it can be a lot of emotions today. There might be an emotional release that we have because we're understanding where we are at this point in our journey. And it's like, I feel like this release that happens that really brings balance, that brings clarity, and that kind of just cleanses us. And to be our favorite version of ourself. And it's not like any of them, any versions are bad or not. And I don't want to say like highest, be, highest version or highest self. It's really your favorite, best version that you see yourself being. That's what we're being gifted today. There's a lot of offerings coming in, a lot of messages as well that's going to be received with this Ace of Cups. That's a new love. That could be a new opportunity that really lights us up. That could be something that, you know, a hobby that makes our heart sing and we have the opportunity to you know, do something with that today. But ultimately, it's something that really makes our cups feel full. And we are kind of over full, overflowing with all of this abundance and all of these good feelings that we're able to see how far we've come in our journey and how successful we are at this point. There's an opportunity with all of the success that we've had to really take it and go farther with it, to take it and use this energy, this excitement, the celebration that we're feeling today for all these new things coming in to really use that as motivation to keep moving us forward because there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things changing. There's a lot of things moving. It can feel a little chaotic, but the important thing is, is to stay centered within who we are, allow our cups to fill up authentically and naturally, not from external sources, right? From, from within and really tune in to the success that we have, the success that we've seen within ourselves, because it really is like an internal transformation I feel like we're going through right now, where our perspectives are changing, the emotions that we have about certain things that have happened in our past or about certain parts of our journey. We're kind of broadening all of that and allowing ourselves to be open in new ways. We're opening our heart a little bit more today because we're again, we're feeling a little bit more secure. We're feeling a little bit more stable and we're feeling like that's the next step in this process is to open our hearts up a little bit more. Because when we're talking about wands, we're talking about our life purpose. We're talking about what lights us up. We're talking about that energy, that desire that comes from within. And that comes from our heart. Making those things happen comes from our heart. And even when we're talking about our heart, we're talking about cups too, right? We're talking about our emotions. We're talking about our feelings. We're talking about love, right? What do we love to do? Who do we love? What do we, what do we love in life? I feel like those are questions that may be coming up for us today. And we're going to be able to answer a lot of them. And also just see love being physically manifested within our lives. Like, I feel like this is going in an interesting direction, but in in a way that's like unconditional and compassionate for ourselves and, and what we're doing and where we want to go. So we could be having, you know, relationships today that pop up and really 
you know, show us the love that we have and the support that we have within our life. And even in the, throughout our process, how we've always had that love here, right? That love there for us. Um, but again, I feel like a lot of this has to do, I think somebody needed, needed that, but a lot of it has to do with ourselves internally, where we are getting this, you know, this cup, this burst of energy, this, you know, this overflow, because we're going to be able to share what we've learned in a new way today as well. Um, we have six plus seven is, or six plus one is seven, and seven is the mind and creativity. So I love that because this opportunity, this, you know, message of new love, of new abundance coming in, of more new emotions, you know, is allowing our mind and our creativity to play together in a way that's harmonious in a way not in a way where they're fighting each other and they're battling so i love that because there's an opportunity within your creativity today to really build something more for yourself and today is the 27th so or wednesday is the 27th so that's two plus seven is nine i love that yes because we are kind of closing out that cycle for wherever this pain that we've felt in the past yeah exactly that energetic cleanse i was talking about in the beginning of for wednesday we gonna be able to close that up and kind of seal it and leave it where it is and walk away and move forward more triumphant more confident um in ourselves and what we're doing so i love that for wednesday um i'm sorry <laughs> i always say that but i really just love the cards and every message it brings us because it really does like help like i don't know i spent, i watch these i'll make these and then i watch these like day of and I'll say things that hit me harder on that day or have realization about like what that even means um, when I'm actually interacting with the energy, but I digress. So now we're moving on to Thursday. Thursday is April 28th, so we have two plus eight, that equals 10. Again, we're talking about one, one being, you know, new beginnings, the magician, allowing yourself to be authentic. Do you not see all this energy that is like calling for our authenticity to come out? And I love that the king pops up too, because I feel like the king of wands is his authentic self. Is him, oper is you operating in this space of creativity, of understanding, of presence and peace and really allowing your warmth for your light, your excitement, your drive to lead how you're going through this process or to lead how you're going to be making these changes. Or when we bring this in with the three of pentacles, three of pentacles is expertise, is hard work, is knowledge, is really taking the time to fine tune what you're doing and allow your work to be seen in new ways. So with this king of wands, I love that because this is like the king is like over here doing this stone work and he is happy. He is, you know, He's doing him. He is allowing his authenticity to come out and shine and sing. And then other people can come around and watch that and value that. So there's going to be a lot, I feel like, people today that are paying attention to what you're doing. Because you're sitting here as the king in your energy, in your authenticity. I don't even think, like, you know it or you realize it. You're just, like, you're just creating. And people are watching you because you're creating life for yourself that is... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Honorable. That is des uh, desirable in a way of like they want to create that for themselves as well. And it's just like something that you're meant to do. It's written in stone right here. And three is the number for new beginnings. It's communication. It's having fun. So this is something that you have fun with. Something that again ignites that inner child within you. Because when I think about like fire or even like these this orange and yellow color together, it always makes me think of the sun in the major arcana and then that is also that's an indication of our inner child of allowing that creativity to come out allowing like when we're pointed towards what we really love to do and we allow ourselves to have fun with it how we can really really create what's the words i'm looking for really could just create more in our life ultimately but something that is like stable and secure for us to really build in in like um, build a long last lasting foundation from like um, words are leaving my mind um what else is going on here in this card there's a lot of there's a lot of yellow there's a lot of orange so we're going to be activating i feel like our solar plexus today and also our sacral chakra so pay attention to those things allow your creativity to flow i feel like this is a nice week for creatives, or even just cre creativity in general. You don't have to be a creative person, but if you are and you work in a creative field or you do a lot of creative work, it's gonna be a really great week for you to kind of tune into that, tap into that energy, and build things in a new way. Because you're sitting 
we're sitting here on a solid throne and we're leading our life based on what makes us happy, what truly lights us up. And when we do that, our hard work can really be appreciated in new ways. And it, we are finally allowing ourselves to kind of like exchange our gifts and show our talents and really come out and okay, yeah, showcase our talents in new ways where we've been kind of scared to do that, right? We're pushing ourselves out of there, out of there, moving towards success. Cause I even like this six of, the six of um, wands we had from Wednesday is coming in today to point us in this direction, to know that like we are the leaders of our life now. We are the leaders of what we do with our energy. And we're, create, we're going to create work that we really feel connected to. Um, and today, Thursday's number is four, so that being structure, secu stability, security, um, really finding that stable place for you to build off of. And I love that because you're the stability. We're not, again, not external sources, not external people, not external, you know, goals are what makes us feel stable. It's we're going to find that within ourselves because, you know, we're making these decisions for ourselves now. All right. Now we're moving into Friday. Friday has the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Friday is also the 29th. So we have two plus nine, that is 11. 11 is the master number for service. So we have an opportunity to be a service to ourselves or a service to other people. But I feel like a lot of, again, this work is happening internally. And so when we can be a service to ourselves first, we're ultimately a service to people around us. So we're gonna find a lot today being this page of cups, you know, being willing to learn more about our emotions, being willing to dive in a little bit deeper. We have this new moon coming up, this lunar eclipse happening tomorrow in Taurus. So it's no, you know, it's no coincidence that we're having, that we were being told to look at our emotions and dive into our emotions and learn a little bit more. If there's things that are scare us, there's things that are making us feel uncomfortable, we should look into that, journal a little bit, ask ourselves, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. What am I feeling? Why am I feeling this? What is scaring me? What is causing, what is pushing me outside of my comfort zone? Why don't I wanna make these changes, right? And it's in that discovery, that, or in that conversation we have with ourselves, where we discover this new opportunity, where we discover what's been holding back, what's in, we, where we discover even deeper where we need to move forward and ultimately, again, presents us with this, an opportunity for us to feel that stability and feel that security within ourselves, for us to find a new means of abundance you know and that could be us like finding maybe you know we're scared because we're being pushed to change jobs or being pushed to do something different within our careers right because we're talking about pentacles here and we figure out that we do actually want to do that but it's just our own fear that maybe is stopping us or holding us back so there's an opportunity for new jobs here um there's an opportunity to find and maybe even a new stream or a new path for find you know, I want to say revenue coming in because um, it's bringing us in a new direction. We have, again, we have the Ace of Cups this week and the Ace of Pentacles. So things are being brought to us because we're finally leading our lives in the way that we want. We're finally, you know, really feeling that our work and the energy that we're putting into our life is enough and deserves to be seen. And so in each opportunity or each occasion we have to rise to the opportunity we are again are being gifted these things because the ace of pentacles is a gift from the universe it's a gift of a new focus it's a gift of new energy it's a gift of you know good health and abundance and good relationships that are around you but we receive those today by being willing to dive in and listening to what's coming up and that could also be somebody coming to us today that might trigger us right we could be out and about and somebody like you know maybe cuts us off in traffic or says something rude at the grocery store and we're triggered a little bit and so that could be you know a message from spirit to look into that why were we triggered in that moment right or even within our partners or within our friendships there's opportunity there's a lot of opportunities this week but especially in today or friday to really expand a little bit more about our emotions. And we kind of have this comfy little bubble around us to do that because the universe and spirit is pushing us to do that. The cards are saying, please look at your emotions, look at what's coming up, look at what's being brought to the surface. And you're not alone, we're here with you, right? I feel like this little fish in this cup is like your spirit guides are right here with you, willing and ready to have that conversation. And that can even be you having this conversation with yourself today, you know, you and yourself. Um, and so dive into that because there's some things that I feel like ourselves want to say to ourselves. Okay. And so then page of cups, ace of pentacles is two, 
Two is balance, two is intuition, two is the high priestess, it's duality, it's our relationships. And this is bringing balance, looking within, diving deep, being willing to look at what's coming up for us emotionally right now is giving us that opportunity to bring balance and giving us that opportunity to be secure and stable in what we're doing because a lot of things are changing, but we know because we're making these decisions for ourselves and where we see ourselves in the future that we're secure regardless, right? Regardless of what is coming up. It's not coming up to hurt you or make you think you're going in the wrong direction. It's just coming up to show you what is ready to be healed. Alrighty, now moving into Saturday, there will be a little, there will be a um, video up on the new moon, diving a little bit deeper into what this eclipse is here for, but ultimately it's kind of here for this, so we can finally go to sleep at night, to, for lack of better words, um, you know, where we can release this anxiety, where we can release this anger, we can release this doubt, anything that has really just been causing us to stay up at night, maybe this uncertainty. We've had so many things moving and changing and we're growing and we're healing and we're transforming and all of this stuff. We see all of these numbers, but what does it mean? It's been, it's been clouding a lot of this up here, but with this new moon that comes in, it's helping us really get rid of of some of that, bring that balance back in. It's in Taurus, so we're talking about stability. We're talking about an earth sign and they're about security and stability and material things, the finer things in life, being comfortable in our environment. And we're learning how to be comfortable within ourselves in a new way. And I feel in ways that we haven't been comfortable in ourselves for a long time. That's why we're having this really big, deep energetic cleanse. I feel like this week where all these things are coming to the surface because it's time for us to be comfortable in ourselves. It's time for us to be comfortable in the work that we're doing, be comfortable in the ideas that we're ready to share, be comfortable in communicating and expressing ourselves. Because I feel like, you know, society and how just things are, we'd kind of turn that off a little bit after a while and today we're being told that it's okay to not and to set new intentions and on how we want the rest of this eclipse season and even just the next lunar cycle to really look especially as we're going into mercury retrograde or you know that is a time of reflection and awareness and deeper digging on our communication especially again we're talking about swords here so we're talking about communication we're talking about our intellect we're talking about the way that we receive our insights and ideas and so for us to have to have a moment a break to really, I feel like, understand and balance those things out, I feel like it's really going to be really beneficial to us ending out April because I feel like April as a whole has kind of been chaotic and has forced us to look at a lot of things. I feel like almost overstimulated, overwhelmed by it a little bit. But with with um, this being the Nine of Swords, Nine being about, you know, spirituality, completion, it's the hermit, it's going within. See, all these messages this week has to do with going within to help us get out. And then today being the 30th, three is the number for communication, for intellect, for new beginnings and having fun with what you're doing. Because for, I think for a while, we're not, we haven't been having fun. We've been a little burnt out. I mean, these past couple of years have been crazy and the world is still crazy but it and we're feeling this burnt out energy but it's this moment for us to really kind of feel like rejuvenate and revitalize ourselves so we can bring this new beginning where we can come out and express differently so i'm excited about this and i feel like and i love this too because for the full moon in libra this popped up as well so it's still this energy of balancing things out, allowing ourselves to express our ideas, allowing ourselves to communicate communicate what we think, what we see, what we feel in a new way. So I'm very excited about this. Um, again, the number for Saturday is nine. And then moving into Sunday, we have the moon. Come on. I love it. Of course, we have this lunar eclipse this weekend, new moon. Of course, the moon is going to pop up because there are a lot of things that are scaring us right now. We have some illusions and a little bit of delusion that we have to kind of clear up that's, you know, scaring us on our path. And it's not scaring us because it's scary. It's scaring us because it's new and we don't know how to read the energy. Because again, we're being called to show up in new ways. We're being called to heal or being called to transform or being called to push ourselves out of our comfort zone and if we just looked at this with a different perspective with a fresher light then it wouldn't really scare us 
right? We'd actually be a little bit more excited. We know that there's challenges and there's going to be experiences and situations that arise as we go through this. But one, we have the strength to move forward and it will give us the strength to continue to move forward. And you know, like this wheel of fortune that popped up on Tuesday, what comes around goes around. And so you can't stay down for long. You have to come back up and we are coming back up, baby. Let me tell you. Um, and I see this Scorpio down here because, and it, or this lobster, but it's reminding me of Scorpio because we have this Taurus Scorpio, um, axis that we're talking about. We're talking about this eclipse season. So if there's Taurus, Scorpio, um, I think they're fixed signs, other fixed signs, you're going to feel this, but those two signs are really going through some massive transformations with this eclipse season. Um, but Scorpio being about transformation and change. So what are we transforming? What are we needing to change? What are we leaving in about? What are we leaving behind? And who are we ready to allow ourselves to be? Those are going to be the questions that are going to be kind of popping up on this day, really thinking about it. We're still going to be feeling this energy. It's going to be a thick energy. I feel like this, this, Taurus new moon, but again, it's coming to help ground us and helping us to be more comfortable in who we are. Again, we're not going to be the same people that we were before. And I feel like for the better, you know, without the worry, without the anxiety, without, you know, the judgment that we have on ourselves or worried that others are going to judge us, we are just going to allow ourselves to be who we are, whoever we are authentically. And it's amazing because we've been working towards that for so long and then the moon is 6 7 18 1 plus 8 is 9 again we see this 999 nine, nine. pay attention to that this week these cycles are completing and these things are ending i feel like you know it is a beautiful time for endings and beginnings and again like this wheel of fortune we were in the middle of it at the beginning of the week but i feel like we're coming around to the end we're understanding where we are at our points in our journey and at the very end of the cards because you know i like to talk about those we have the five of swords or the five of swords the five of wands in reverse so Anything that comes up, conflict that arises, it's not here to hurt you. It's not here to trigger you, to show you that people in our lives are bad. It's here to show us where our strengths are. It's an opportunity for us to use our talents, express who we are authentically, and free ourselves from the old, you know, things that we've been holding on to. Burdens, people, past trauma. I feel like even stories and timelines that we've been telling ourselves, it's time for us to move forward. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I love you guys and I hope you have a great week. Oh, and I always like, and I like to say too, let me go back to Sunday. Um, Sunday is May 1st. So one being one, hello, we got lots of one, one and a nine. I love that on the day, but I love the readings for the first of the month because it kind of shows the tone for the rest of it. So we're going to be looking at, we'll be digging deep in May. Um, but ultimately again, coupled with this five of wands in reverse we're allowing ourselves to to shine we're allowing ourselves to come out we're using our talents in new ways and i'm really excited to see how that unfolds for us um so i love you guys i hope you have a great week and i will catch you next week in the daily or the weekly tarot readings um if you'd like to know more about me, what I have going on, or you'd like to book a tarot reading, you can go to ashleyrose.com. You can follow me on Instagram as well. That's Ashley Rose Tarot. Again, that's where you're going to see the daily cards pop up. So check those out. The links are in the description for those. Like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel because I love having you guys here and I will see you later, alligator.